This is for our settlement. This is for our people. This is for those dirty traitors and the loyal companions we've made along the way. Oh, I just committed genocide. All right. Uh, fucking, okay, so this is Frostpunk. Uh, from what I've, from what I can recall, you have these people and they need to live and you need to help them live, but they're completely fucking useless because they can't do anything without you. So here we are. We roam the still, cold world. No horizon in sight. The rulers of old, stripped of pride and glory. It feels as yesterday we were turning the wheels of progress. Until the frost stopped it all. Suddenly, without a warning. When tides had changed, they changed for all of us, no matter wealth or class. We've lost our world to snow, and with it, our last traces of humanity. We bid farewell to plenty, and for those who remained, came the time to adapt. We decided to leave our homes and head north. We roamed for weeks, maybe months, leaving behind all the things we once believed had made us. It was hope pushed us forward, slowly, step by step. We knew the cost of our journey, and we paid the price a hundred times. Finally, the time has come to build the last city on Earth. city must survive all right here we go <clears throat> a new home we fled from london and crossed the sea to reach the frozen north on the way our convoy was hit by a blizzard and scattered a handful of us managed to reach the site of this generator only to find a frozen solid and abandoned why is no one here? Did any of our people survive the blizzard? Well, I mean, fucking whatever we do, we should expect the worst now that the world, as we know it, has crumbled. Wow. Uh, we need to get the general way in for our team about that one's out of the Okay. Where's the coal? Oh, there it is, right? Yes! Uh, fuck it. All of you, all of you go. Oh my word. They're like my slaves. Look at them go! What hard workers. All the workers will get homes, and it, ugh, the engineers can go fucking live in the cold. What will they do for us? Are those children? Why aren't the children helping? What the hell? Make the engineers go out there as well. They need to earn their, their fill. So we just need to live, basically. Oh shit. What was this? Workers need there's so much to do and not enough hands to do it. A quick way of adjacent farmers put Yes This is what I've been waiting for. <laughs> I am all for child labor. So 
sign. Listen, yeah. everyone. New law is signed. Kids should be learning, not working. We told day and our kids. Listen here, yeah, you nonce. Do you see a school anywhere in this Iceland? Idiots. Right. I think we did the right thing. Okay, let's turn the generator on. Uh. Alright. Oh. Look at that. <clears throat> the generator hums with reassuring warmth. But we shouldn't take it for granted. If the generator goes down, the city dies. Be mindful of coal reserves. Now food. There'll be no city if we starve to death. Secure a way to provide raw food and build a cookhouse to prepare meals. Okay. Right. So right now we're just getting a little, little hut built for these people so they don't complain to me about their fucking children. And then from there, we just keep going. Oh, shit. This is fine. 15 minutes later. Uh, hold on. Uh, okay, shit. Uh, kind of panicking. Uh, the grave little can be kept alive. <laughs> Uh, I don't know if we, if we really want that. I think, you know, we should just end their life as soon as possible. Controversial, you know, especially considering we were, we're already... Our first law was to make kids work, but... I mean, look, we're trying to fucking survive. <laughs> I don't know what to tell you. Alright, with basic resources secured for now, we can try to rescue the people we left behind. No. Okay, we cannot have our engineers working anymore. They seem kind of, you know, important. Um, as for the children, they can go die for like a bad food. Shut up. You're literally dying because of the weather. This is the least I could do. Well, no, the, right now the most. Anyways. Uh, let's see how this goes. Another day, another chef for that's life. Thank you, Robert. Holy shit. It's heartwarming to see families united after so many hardships, but there shouldn't be other but shouldn't there be other other settlements nearby? The first expeditions left London long ago. They ought to be well established by now. Alright. We will look for the others. Oh no, what is this? Child injured at work. And Useless. Absolutely. Uh, let's go. Oh my word, look at that. That is amazing. Why? Stop with all the things. I'm glad you're doing good. How's Frostpunk treating you? I want to end it all. Everyone has something to say. If they don't care about the fucking... The food quality while they're in the middle of a wasteland, they, they're like, Oh, you can't let the kids work. The kids, oh no. It's like, shut up. <laughs> oh, it's so infuriating. Oh. Every, like... They always ask for shit, and then you're like, okay, well, uh, this is what we can do. And then they're always like, oh, okay, well, we don't like that. It's like, okay, well, uh, shut up. But uh, everything's going a-okay. I got these people, they are going to go to some place and do something. And uh, these other people, they are working, which is good. We have children we can use to our disposal, because I hate them. So yeah, 
everything so far is going just 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 a okay like on one hand it's all good in the hood but on the other hand i want to literally kill myself why are they still sick why it makes no sense to me i've got all my things yeah it's been at 25 since who knows how long oh my god all right because they're always like oh it's too cold this guy's literally doing fucking nothing he's just standing there like an idiot always asking they never captain oh great now whenever they need me they refer to me as captain our people have gathered to protest <laughs> okay the number of the untreated sick pe keeps rising but you seem to ignore the problem you people aren't helping them i've given you all the stuff you all the things you need they demand you take action um okay i'll open a fucking medical post bro you're at day nine and it's going to shit so that's what i'm saying man oh it's 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 frustrating <laughs> nothing's going how i want it to go <laughs> oh wow so many issues this is the easy part of the game You're, you're joking. Storage limit reached, huh? Ah! Interesting. Okay, what's this? Our first automation is operational. This will help our economy greatly. Automations can replace entire manual labor crews. They work around the clock with short breaks to refuel at the generator. We can research upgrades to raise their efficiency and capability. Things are uh, looking alright. Oh, that is so cool. Look at that. That is sick. I love that so much. All right. Uh, let's see. This is going well. Kind of. Not really. We actually have no food. But other than that, everything is going lovely. Just wonderful. Even though everyone is starving and most definitely dying a little bit. We should be grateful for what we have, I suppose. Shut up. Ah, oh, shit. Okay. Now everything is starting to go to shit. Oh, we can do this. Oh, shit. man from the winter home we found an exhausted man at the edge of our city he said that he came from winter home a settlement located not far from here and that he was the last survivor winter home is dead everyone's dead there's no hope for survival there's a cursed wasteland you're all doomed you must escape those were his last words how the fuck are you gonna escape the wasteland this man's stupid so we're alone one of, our, one of our people died. Shit. Okay. The news was so shocking someone died. The news has shocked everyone in the city. There were supposed to be many settlements and construction crews. Yeah. People living normal lives in homes. Heated by generators. But we're alone. Oh my god. Now there's going to be a fucking protest. Coming here was a fool's errand. We should go back. Oh, what's happening to my hope? What the actual fuck? Oh no, well, this is where it is. What do you mean? They're all dead? How will we survive here without any help? We have to go back to London. So far, 
Uh, the spirit is only then once you're everything in fleet line and panic is starting to set in. I must give them purpose. Everyone fucking work. Oh no. People are shaken, racked by fear and doubt. They've lost hope in our chance of survival. This way. Uh, let's see. You have to unite them behind a vision of the future. The sign now I will give them purpose and restore hope, or else our city will descend into the chaos that consumed Winter Home. So me personally, you've got. I've only gone through the tutorial. That whole thing was the tutorial. Oh my god. <sighs> Me personally, I'm more of a man of order and discipline, not faith and spiritual strength. Neighborhood watch. Look at that. We, we've already got something going here to civilization. We need to mobilize and stand together to help people in need and protect them from troublemakers. Damn right we do. Can't say don't cry, please. <laughs> Calm down everyone, we're not gonna fucking die. Sir, uh, you convinced the majority, but hope is low. A group of our people are still so scared that they want to flee the city for London in 15 days. They've come to try to change your mind. You say order will save us? Nonsense. What are we gonna do? Oh shit. What are we going to orderly decide? Who to eat first when we start to solve? I, I suggest the children, because they're all so fucking useless. Sorry. Um... If we don't try to reach London, we'll end up like Winter Home. Calm down, we're not gonna die, idiots. The London. Oh, fuck. They have a name? The Londoners. No, you better not. Don't cry. Just donate. Uh, your people are divided. It's only 15 of them, right? Some of them see they blindly. Oh, never mind. Um, fear may lead people to desperate acts, maintain the peace. I think that we should shoot them. Because that is the orderly and disciplinary way to do it. Oh my god, how many people may join the Londoners? Don't let the don't let the Londoners win, damn it. Um No They don't know. They don't know what I'm doing for them. They're too cold I don't give a shit if they're too cold to work. Everyone's putting their work in it. They need to do the same. So the people who want to leave for London have successfully urged their friends and neighbors to join them. People are more easily persuaded because they have little hope in our ultimate survival. I hope they all die. I really could not care for shit. Everyone who sticks here is going to live. So, I mean, let them leave, you know. There'll be less mouths to feed as well. If they're not part of... Oh, we haven't even given ourselves a name. The cool men. If they're not part of the cool men, then they can go fuck off. Assholes. I'm doing everything for them, and they, they don't appreciate that. No, the woman. <gasps> yes, okay, we're the woman lovers. Don't let the Londoners, the filthy fucking Londoners, disrupt your work. Ugh. Sir, a child climbed the generator, slipped and fell, but was thankfully caught by a neighborhood watch member who was on patrol nearby. <laughs> he then escorted the child to his mother and gave them both a good talking to him. It could have ended with a broken leg or worse. Or worse. If it weren't for our watchmen, a neighbor commented, we're lucky to have them. The game's pitting me. The game's basically just leaving the situation in here. So that I can actually keep some people in my tribe. Tribe. I wonder if all London is gonna get out the hole. That's what I'm thinking. <laughs> Anyways, can't say look, we can get the morning gatherings now. Listen, everyone. New law. Oh shit. The the Londoners have infiltrated the crowd. 
Uh, okay. Let's heat some homes. Yeah! Yeah! Heat some homes. Heat some homes. Oh, that would have been very depressing. Overthrowing me. People are talking about openly overthrowing you. Bereft of hope, they see no future for our city and they blame you for that. What should we do? Shit. Can't say I need help. Can't say hop on right now and help me, damn it. Oh god. And it's only gonna get even worse. Ah, oh, shit. <laughs> Let the generator explode. <laughs> they will love it for the rest of their lives. You know what? You're not wrong. You know what? Yeah. Fuck them. They think they're all better than me? Nah. Nah. And just to, like, rub salt in their wounds... I'm gonna make everyone work overtime. This is the end. Let's watch it die out in glory. They won't be unhappy for too long, you're not wrong. Now we wait. Speed this up a little bit. Oh, wait. One of our people died suddenly. Uh. We must make sacrifices to survive! <sighs> we must do what we must do. This is for our settlement. This is for our people. This is for those dirty traitors. And the loyal companions we've made along the way. This is for the people of We Love Women. We will not fall any longer. Well, except now for a little bit, because we're going to fucking blow up. But no Londoners will make us fall. If they want a war, then they will get one, damn it. So as long as I live, I'll make sure that those dirty traitors never interfere with us ever again. Damn right your captain has a plan. We will never let them win. We will fight them on the beaches. We will fight them in the surf. We will fight them on the snow. We will fight them on the plains. No one will win we will always have our homes in heaven. I bid you farewell, soldiers. They will never win. Oh, wait. <laughs> you can basically... The generator has been damaged, is going to blow, we can fix it, but only a child is small enough. So basically, here are two options. We can either get a child to sacrifice himself for everyone. Or we let those dirty Londoners win. I will be damned if I'll let them win. Fuck you, Florence. Fuck you, Hector. Fuck you, Molly. I did this for us. Londoners will never win. We will remain strong, even in death. Uh, <clears throat> the generator has exploded. The end. Without the heat and steam power from the generator, the infrastructure of the city quickly grounds to a halt. 
people survive for a while, but soon they run out of things that can be burned to keep them warm. One after another, they all freeze to death. It's over.